This is a bit of an impromptu follow-up for my Corsair Utility Engine K70 and Strafe videos, so I apologize if the video quality is uh, <laughs> worse than usual. Um, additionally, you're going to be seeing a huge portion of my desktop, and I don't think I've ever been this intimate with anyone before. So, take that as you will. If you're having problems with your RGB Corsair keyboard or the Q software in general, I've attempted to answer every comment I've gotten in the comment section to my Q video linked in the description below. Except for this one. I don't know who you are, but this is probably the last thing you want me to do to you. I digress. If you don't find your answer here, try checking the comment section on my other videos, and there's a good chance you'll find a solution waiting for you there. In an effort to save time, I will not include anything that was already stated in my initial videos, and I say that as I waste time with this freaking comment. Anyway, first things first, Q does not work on a Mac. Now that that's out of the way, you can find the launcher here, assuming you did not change your default install location. It is q.exe, sometimes you won't have the .exe part if, you're, if you don't have extension shown, but if you're not too sure, it'll say application over under type. If you're having problems opening or launching Q, it could be as easy as going to your task manager and finding it here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. There it is. I don't know how I missed that the first time. Okay, so sometimes it'll be open in the task manager, but not visible on your desktop. So if you find it here, just like end it brutally and swiftly, you cold hearted bastard, and then just relaunch it and see if that works. If that does not work, you can try restarting your computer. And if that doesn't work, try a clean install. And by clean install, I mean wipe it off the face of the planet before you try launching it again. You uninstall through your control panel, like so if you're on Windows 10, you can right click your start menu or your start button and go to control panel. And then you go to uninstall the program. You find Q in your list, which is over here. And then you just uninstall. Additionally, if you hit the Windows key and R, you get this little run box. If you type in um, devmgmt.msc, it'll bring you to your device manager. And in there, you locate your keyboards and you uninstall every single one by right clicking and then uninstalling. Right click, uninstall, and so on. I'm not going to bother because mine's working and I don't want to break it. After you uninstall all of that, hit the Windows key and R again, and you can type in the percent sign app data, A P P D A T A, percent sign again. No spaces or anything, hit enter, it'll bring you to your app data folder, which is located here if you'd rather find it manually. If you want to search for it manually, the folder may or may not be hidden depending on your operating system settings. So if you go to view and go to options and then go to view again, view tab here, and then go to um, over this general area, hidden files and folders, you check off or you hit the radio button for show folders, hidden folders, files and whatever, and then okay, apply, and then it should, it should be easy to find. And then you find Corsair here and you delete this folder completely, all of it. Well, I guess not all of it, at least Q, but I delete all of it usually. Anyway, now go back to the folder where you initially installed Q, which should be over here. And if there's a folder here after uninstalling it, delete that too. So this entire process is like the purge, except it's for misbehaving keyboards that think they're being cute. I mean, it wasn't a great joke, but it was mine and I love it anyway, but whatever. And after you've done all that, restart your computer, reinstall Q and hope for the best. If Q is not detecting your keyboard, you can try doing the same exact thing as everything I just said, or you can try switching your USB ports. I find that these keyboards tend to work better in USB 2.0 rather than 3, and if you're not sure which is which, USB 2.0 ports tend to be black, and 3.0 tend to be generally a different color like blue or red. If neither of those work, check to see if you indeed have an RGB keyboard, because this software does not work with non-RGB versions, as far as I'm aware at least. Lastly, this is Q2, which is basically Q the sequel, indicated by the 2, which is not actually on here, but that's not really the point. The reason I'm not bothering with a tutorial on this yet is because it's still in beta and it doesn't support certain functions that I would expect it to have. For example, like if you go to lighting effects, you can't, like these are done by layers, but you can't rearrange the layers, which is kind of weird. But I don't I don't want to do a, a tutorial on a, a an incomplete program. So when, when it's no longer in beta, I will do it. But for now, I'll leave it alone. Uh, although if you want to play around with it, um, Godspeed Pilgrim. But if not, you can uninstall it through the control panel like I showed you earlier and go to Corsair's download page, which is right over here. It'll also be in the description for your convenience. And then click on this little drop down here, go to gaming keyboards. And then the top one is Q2. And that's indicated by version 2.5.66. Q1 or original Q, OG Q, whatever you want to call it, is 1.16.42. You download this one if you want Q1. I'm gonna call it Q1. But basically the point is don't pick the one that starts with two. If Q happens to pitch you problems after this, refer back to the clean install part of this video. The clean install is your Bible for this program, which is stupid because it shouldn't be, but whatever. And now to talk about the keyboards. I don't have any B-roll for this or footage for this. I am, I'm gonna just play around with the software, I guess. You can only use the advanced lighting effects or functions while Q is open. That being said, even if you save a profile to the keyboard, you cannot take it to another computer and expect it to work. If Q isn't installed there, at least. It can be minimized to the system tray down here though, 
which is like either this one or this one. Both Q and, and Corsair Link have the same icon, so it's hard to tell sometimes. But anyway, it's right there. The profiles you can download online are not universal. The people who make them tend to make them for specific models, but they'll sometimes upload multiple versions to support multiple keyboards. If your imported profile isn't working, double check keyboard compatibility. And lastly, I think I gave my strafe a uh, to be continued for longevity grade, and I'm going to bump that to an A+, but kind of with a grain of salt because your mileage may or may not vary. I'm going to consider myself lucky on this one. My strafe got attacked by a monster. Seriously, I was up late one night and I had like this huge spasm and I knocked like an entire can of monster into the keyboard and the light started flickering rapidly and then it died out and I unplugged the keyboard. I drained all the monster out of it. I removed the keycaps, went at it like a madman with Q tips and isopropyl alcohol. I let the keycaps soak in soap and water and let it dry for the next five hours or so. And after I figured it was done or dry enough, at least I plugged it back in and it came alive like a champ. It still works and I would show you, but I gave it to a friend like a week ago and he hasn't complained yet. So uh, don't say anything. Maybe he'll never find out. Huh. Okay, so that's all I have to say about that. If you've watched all of this video, all of the cute tutorial video, and read through every comment on each video, and I still didn't answer your question, go ahead and shoot me a comment, and I'll do my best to figure out what ails you. If you like this kind of thing, leave me a thumbs up, because that would be neat. If not, or if I didn't answer your question after literally everything I said, or I could think to say, maybe I missed something in the comments. If I did, let me know. If you disliked it, uh, tell me why in the comment section, and, and I'll, I will try to alleviate your pain. If you have ideas for future videos, you want to see something hardware-related, a, a different review of a different product that I might be able to get my hands on. Remember, this is out of pocket. I am not rich. I, I get what I can. Um, so yeah, review, hardware stuff, software stuff, overclocking, uh, choreographed dance, I don't know. Whatever turns you what the fuck did... No, go away! If you want to see more stuff like this or other stuff in general, subscribe to the channel, because that would be neat. And... I'm still thinking of a channel name. I don't really like the one I have now, but thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Wow, that is fing trippy. Oh my god. Uh, d d stop. Stop it. I'm doing a video.